Hey everybody, Michael Tucker here, and today we're gonna be talking about can you invest in real estate part-time? Now, a lot of beginning investors and fix and flippers, they say, Michael, I don't have the time to invest in real estate. Well, today we are gonna debunk the full-time myth for people thinking you have to go into it full-time. We're gonna completely smash that and show you exactly how you can get into real estate part-time. So let's jump right on in. Like I said, a lot of people think you have to jump right on in and do real estate full time. Well, that couldn't be any further than the truth. I have tons of friends and even myself did this part time for a pretty long season in my life. I was working as a restaurant server. I was working as a youth minister and still do. And I was operating a very, very unsuccessful kettle corn business. <laughs> so a lot of you guys are like, what you had to, yes, we tried wholesaling kettle corn. It, it just failed terribly. So whenever I first got into real estate, I had that same thought as well. I said, man, I can't get into real estate. I barely even have enough time as it is. Well, today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can invest your time wisely so you can get into fixing and flipping houses. All right. Step one, whenever it comes to investing part time, it all comes down to prioritizing what you want out of life. A lot of people, they get into real estate or anything in general, and they don't prioritize their time well, and ultimately a month, two months down the road, they fail. And that's not what I want for you. You see, you have to actually ask yourself, what do I want out of life and what am I going to prioritize, right? You're gonna to have to change some priorities around and make a decision. So step one is figuring out what are my priorities and what do I need to do to make fix and flipping one of them. And number two is this, how can I build a team that is going to work for me while I am out working my full-time job? Because a lot of you all, you may be working right now as an accountant, you may be working um, just regular nine to five job and you're like, Michael, how am I supposed to do everything all in a day's time? You don't have to, if you build the right team and have the right players on your crew, you will, to be honest, not do much work at all. Now, Disclaimer, you are going to have to do some work, but having the right team in place eases the load. For example, having a real estate agent that may be able to go and look at properties for you, having a contractor that's gonna be able to go out there and give you bids, having a home inspector that's going to make sure the house is solid so you don't waste time on a deal, having the right lenders in place so that whenever the time comes and you're gonna buy your first investment property, you're not scrambling for money. And so there's so many people you can put on your team working for you. It's called using other people's time and other people's resources, right? You've heard of people saying, use other people's money. What about other people's time and resources and their energy? You can do the same thing there. So one, prioritize. The second thing is build a team. And the third thing is just stay consistent. Consistent, you're like, Michael, really? Yes, I really encourage you to commit just 30 minutes, an hour a day to growing your real estate business. Because if you can do that over a long term, it's actually going to compound and you're gonna get so much accomplished in six months, a year. Are you gonna grow as fast as you would being in it full time? No. When you jump in, you're just doing it part time, it's gonna take you a little bit longer to get your business off the ground. I recommend that you give this one to two years. If you're serious about financial freedom, about becoming a real estate investor, I suggest that you just give it one to two years. You see, what I did in many of the business ventures that I was in in the past, and what so many other new investors do is, they just jump in for one or two months and they quit. And I don't want you to be a quitter, so jump in and stay for the long haul. Commit to becoming 1% better every day. Lastly, I just wanna throw in a little bonus tip for you guys. When you're investing very part-time, whenever you have a full-time job already and you're trying to do this as a side hustle, don't get discouraged because you're gonna go, like I said, and see uh, through some time and not have any results. You're gonna go through a, a certain season where you may not see all the fruits of your labor, but don't get discouraged. Surround yourself with the right people and you will eventually hit that goal. Listen, you can invest part-time and I can't wait to see you get your first fix and flip or maybe that's your first rental, whatever you're deciding to do in real estate. Keep trucking on and we will see you in another video. If you need anything, comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. Hit that subscribe button and we will see you very soon.